That's a little bit too big. Take some technique and getting used to. What I find works the best is go right next to them and walk the little loop over and, and just kind of gyrate it a little bit so you see that he's coming up with the loop and come over and just bend the loop over a little bit. Just leave him right there. Again, I'm just going to go right next to it, and I'm going to walk the loop over beneath the little larva. Come on, baby. Careful not to crush it. It's exactly as delicate as you would think they are. Put the light a little bit more towards here for me. Thank you. Walk it over. Oh. Excuse me. No, don't take it from me. It's mine. Oh. They stole it from me again. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take this and bring it over to here. I'm going to go ahead and place it. Now, ever so gently, we're going to put this upside down. And we're going to bring it to this hive that is currently queenless. Let's go ahead and smoke the bees down just a bit. Gonna gently place it in here. Okay. And hopefully, if everything works out well, we should come back tomorrow and see some queen cells. Now I did put a queen cell, super cedar cell from another hive right here, but the hive is still queenless. So we're going to put on, put these graphs in here anyway. I just put this queen cell in there yesterday. And here's the top. I'm going to go ahead and just put this top in. Come on, guys. 